Hey, 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 welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, you are going to learn to create a Python program to convert decimal to binary. There will be two methods that we'll be implementing to achieve the purpose of converting a number in decimal system into its binary equivalent. Without further ado, let's get into coding the program. I recommend you code along with me because that way you will be able to understand this program better. First, we'll write the code to take the decimal number from the consoles. For that, we'll write the main function and then we are going to declare a variable vnum. After the equals to sign, we are going to make use of the input function and within its brackets, we'll write a message, enter the number and within brackets, we'll mention decimal. All right. And of course, we are going to typecast this input function into integer because we know that the input function always returns a string we'll define a function now which we are going to call f underscore deck to bin that is going to accept one argument which we are going to call n all right now to calculate the binary form of a number we keep dividing it by two and then line all the remainders from bottom to top we will use the recursion technique here so let's say if the number is 9 and we need to convert it into its binary equivalent, we'll divide it by 2 and keep dividing it by 2 till we reach 1 as the remainder. So for that, we are going to write if n is greater than equals to 2, then we'll make a recursive function call. So it will be f underscore tick to bin again, but this time as its parameter, we are going to pass n divided by 2 okay because we have to keep dividing the number by 2 now when this n becomes 1 then we have to return 1 because 1 will be the remainder that we need to return to the previous recursive function call therefore we'll write lf n comparison operator 1 colon return 1 so when the argument turns one then we have to return one and this one will be the remainder that will be returned to the previous function call you see in this code that if the argument is greater than equals to two then we call the function again the parameter will be n divided by two that means whatever the argument will be the question that we are going to get when we divide it by two that will be passed as its parameter to the recursive function call and when the argument turns 1 then we are going to return 1 so let's say if n is 9 and 9 is greater than 2 then the function will be called again with the parameter as 4 because when 9 is divided by 2 4 comes as the question okay the integer question remember then in the subsequent function call n is 4 so 4 is greater than 2 again the function will be called and this time 2 will be passed as the parameter okay because 4 divided by 2 is 2 then this function is going to be called again with uh, n as 2 and since n is equal to 2 hence a subsequent function call will be made but this time the parameter that will be passed will be 1 2 divided by 2 is 1 now in the final function call n is equal to 1 hence 1 will be returned now this one when returned to the previous function called will be followed by the remainder of 2 divided by 2 then it will be followed by the remainder of 4 divided by 2 and so on so from the final function call when one will be returned to the second last function call it will be followed by the remainder of two divided by two so let's put it over here so we'll write a plus sign over here and within brackets we are going to write n modulo operator two this is going to calculate the remainder now to line up all the remainders one after another we have to keep them as a string thus i have used the plus operator over here but also we'll have to convert these expressions into string so that's why we are going to use the str function over here and over here all right 
and uh, since we have to return these uh, pieces of strings to the previous function calls hence this entire expression will be preceded by the return statement all right our function is complete let's call it from the main function and print the binary equivalent of the number entered so we are going to write within the print function binary equivalent of curly braces we'll use format and then we are going to pass v underscore now and let's print the binary equivalent within this print function only so i'll write over here is curly braces again and this time as the second parameter of format we are going to make a call to the function f take to pin and we'll pass v underscore num as its parameter let's run the program and check the output okay it's asking me to enter the number I'm going to enter 5. The binary equivalent of 5 is 101. And there you go. The program says binary equivalent of 5 is 101. Hence, our first method, that means to calculate the binary equivalent of a number in decimal system using recursion technique is working fine. Now, let's focus on method number 2. This is a fairly simple one. So for that, we are going to define a function f underscore tech to pin underscore 2 this is also going to accept one argument we are going to call it n and within the body of this function we are going to simply write return pin and as its parameter we are going to pass our argument n so what we have done over here is we have used a python built-in method pin that calculates the binary equivalent of an integer simple now let's call this method from within the main function so this time again we are going to make use of the print function and uh, i'm going to change this message a little bit binary equivalent of vnum and over here i'll write using pin function okay let's make a call to this function so i'm going to copy and paste it over here so that i don't make any mistake and let's run the program and check the output i enter 5 again and there you go the binary equivalent of 5 using pin is ob101 okay so you can see that the binary equivalent of 5 uh, has been printed correctly which is 101 but it is prefixed by ob and this is due to the built-in python method ob represents that it's the binary form by using the slicing technique let's remove this ob and print just 101 so for that we are going to take the value returned by the function f deck to bin underscore 2 in a variable and we are going to call that variable v underscore this let's say then uh, we are going to make a function call to f deck to bin 2 and uh, we'll pass v underscore num as its parameter over here within print we are going to do a couple of changes first we are going to remove this function call from here because we have already made it over here now we are going to make use of this v underscore rest variable and within square brackets we'll write to code so we are using the slicing technique and this is going to print all the digits from index 2 till the last index okay now let me run the program again and see if this worked okay so the program is asking me to enter the number let me enter 5 again and there you go the slicing technique worked binary equivalent of 5 using pin function the python inbuilt bin function is coming out as 101 which is exactly the same as the binary equivalent of 5 that we calculated using the recursion technique with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed the learning you got through this video do subscribe to joey's tech if you want to grow in python i'll see you in the next video of joey's tech goodbye and take very very good care of yourself